What's going on guys, my name is Adam and welcome back to the Flip Room. And today we've got another charity shop sourcing video for you guys. Got lots of goodies on the table, some absolute crackers as well, which I'm really, really pleased with. The charity shops have been so good to me lately. I, I, I generally believe I'm picking up better stuff from the charity shops than I did last year at the boot sales. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like some of the stock is amazing for me at the moment. So yeah, as always, gonna put the camera up here and go for each item one by one what I paid for it and what I'm hoping to list it for. Okay guys, let's get cracking. So, got loads of goodies on the table, lots of different bits and pieces. As always, let's go for one by one. Honestly, a couple of them are so good. Anyway, we start with some of the average bits and pieces. We've got a lovely kind of aqua blue Nike golf polo. Um, this is a size large. This one owes me five pounds, paid up a little bit. But Nike Golf, I'm not too sure if I've heard a rumor that Nike Golf, well, Nike no longer make golf um, polos or kind of golf clothing. If that's true, then obviously that will help the resale value. Uh, I always sell golf polos, especially kind of when you get that nice uh, material. Let's see what material it is actually, I'd be interested to see because obviously it's not cotton, it's that different type of material. Uh, what does it say on here? Can't find it. Anyway, it's more like that sport feeling. Um, almost like a football shirt feeling. Um, so yeah, uh, Nike Fit Dry. This is a size large. Nike Golf, nice little hit on the polo. You can see in the leagues, it's Nike Golf. Just aqua blue with a white stripe, nothing too fancy. Five pound, probably into 20 pounds. Nice and easy, happy with that. Staying with the clothing. This is only the second piece of clothing. This is a Calder Thinking Tackle, which is actually a fishing brand. Calder is a really well-known fishing brand. Um, I love my fishing, so this is how I know it. Um, but yeah, you can see, obviously, the Calder logo on the um, inside label there as well. I paid three pound for this. This is a size large, really, really nice condition. Um, and we'll pro probably be looking 15 to 18 pound back on it. So not amazing resale value, but three into 15. Again, that's kind of the, you know, the level that I want to be in. So happy with that. Moving on to the shoes. We have a lovely pair of brown desert boots um, and these are Russell and Bromley not sure we can make it out in the camera Russell and Bromley obviously a very very good strong UK brand um, bottoms look in relatively good condition I paid I believe I paid eight um, pound for this um, and looking at resale value it, it does have a very very small mark not sure if you can make it out on the camera on the back there um, it's a size 44 so what's that a size nine or ten so again strong men's size overall good condition nice clean condition plenty of wear left in that um eight pound probably looking just because of the the slight damage on the back there probably looking 30 to 35 pound if, if this was kind of slightly better condition you'd probably be pushing 40 to 45 pounds so yeah i don't come across russell and romney too often but obviously saw them in the charity shop had to have them for eight pound happy with that next up we have a, a reseller's bread and butter um Nice and easy, Loke Shoemakers, nice black uh, brogue shoes. Uh, again, really nice condition. You can see just from the insoles that they've been um, really worn. These are a slightly smaller size, they're a size 7.5 with Loke's, um, the fitting and the sizing is in the side part here. Um, yeah, I paid up a little bit, so you can see here I paid 15 pounds, but you know, Loke's are a strong brand and probably looking, I don't know, 35 to 40 pounds on that. So. Again, there's um, enough margin in it for me. Happy with that. One piece of media, um, Crash. This is Crash of the Titans, Nintendo Wii. Um, do you know what? I didn't look this up, but because it was Crash, I just took a chance. Um, obviously, it comes with manual and disc. Disc is in good condition as well. Um, I thought it would be worth somewhere in the region of eight to 10 pounds. It's actually only worth in the region of kind of six to eight. Um, so still absolutely fine to resell individually. One into six, seven pounds for a large letter that's absolutely fine we also have sorry we have one more pair of trainers um these are a little bit of a risk and i say that's because they're a youth size so the actual shoe themselves are immaculate like really really nice condition um you can see just from the bottom here as well you can say you can see also i paid five pound for them so these are nike air max sequin twos so i picked up the sequence before um nice kind of gray um color in them again really 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 nice condition um but they're a size uk free which is obviously a quite a small youth size or women's size um it probably could be probably will be 
uh, advertisers, women trainers, but five pound, probably only looking kind of 18 to 20 pound back. So I'm not too sure on those. That, that, that is a bit of a risk, but just simply because of the condition, it caught my eye and I thought, why not, why not give it a go? I always tend to stay away from kids trainers or really small size trainers because they do linger, but I don't know why I picked them up. I, I'm just a gut feeling that I could probably sell that a bit quicker. So we'll see. Um, another bit of a slight risk plush. I'm really, um, how can I describe this? I'm more fussy with my plushes at the moment. So I went through a phase last year where I just was like plush fanatic. I'd pick up any plush that I could find. Um, well, not any plush I could find, but you know, generally I was picking up more plushes than I should have done. Um, and don't get me wrong, they do hold re good resale value when you do sell them, you know, one into 10, one into 15, for example, but they do linger and they do take up a bit of space. This was a brand I've never seen before. This is a um, Molim Ruti, or Roti, apologies if I've pronounced that incorrectly, but what drawn draw me to this particular plush is it comes with its original obviously kind of tag or label at the top there um immaculate condition two pound brand new fresh stock week six um obviously immaculate condition i believe obviously this is obviously the dog of of the family um and i did take a quick look and the the, the prices do vary but i saw this one exact this exact one sell for 20 pounds so two into 20 pounds happy with that it just depends on how quickly it sells if it's going to take six months to sell then then yeah i'm not happy but we'll see we will see keeping with the footwear before we move on to the two electronics we have always good so we have an adidas box and a lovely pair of adidas campers volk twos um these are quite a different colorway i don't i've not seen this colorway before obviously i've picked up many adidas campers before but this is a, a different colorway this is a size UK 11 and a half, so strong um, men's size. This is a rewind red. I never saw this colorway before, but again, really, really nice condition. You know, amazing condition. Size UK 11 and a half. Again, you can tell by the insole, um, it's been barely worn. Um, slight, you know, some slight kind of fade in there and slight fading on the other shoe as well. Um, but overall, you know, these must be worn a handful of times. Comes with the box. Pay £10, again, absolutely have to pay £10 for those. We'll cross, the, cross list those I'll probably on Depop, mainly to open a vintage store as well. If you do have a vintage store, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm debating opening a vintage store as well. Uh, because it comes with the box, really good condition, good strong men's size. We'll be looking £40 for that, so 10 into 40. We'll see how it goes. I might even aim a little bit higher to begin with and bring down the price if needed. Um, moving on to the electronics. So we have a very nice, just simple, plain, box standard, sharp VHS player. Uh, nothing too fancy. This isn't a kind of uh, recording one or rewrite one or, or you know, th this isn't a fancy one. This is a very, very standard model one. I've sold this exact model before. Comes with the remote, hence I picked it up. It was £9.95. So I paid up, you know, I paid up a bit for this if I've been honest. But with the charity shop, you know it's pat tested, which is always half the battle. Um, so you know it should be working. If it didn't come with the remote, I probably would have left it. Um, but because, because it does come with a remote, and again, it's in really nice clean condition, it's been pat tested, I'm happy to give that chance for £10. And probably will be looking, um, you know, in the region of 30 to £35. Again, really nice, just clean condition. Bundle that up with a scart lead. And what I like about this particular model, the sharp ones, they're just, they're actually quite small compact. You probably can't see it in the camera, but you know, this is almost like a shoebox size. Some of the VHS players are so big and bulky. But yeah, this one here is just nice and easy, nice and clean. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with it. Be a bit, you know, some VHS players are hit and miss, especially from boot sales, so just be careful with that. Um, you know, 50-50 whether they actually work or not. So yeah, but when they do work, they do they do hold some strong resale value. So 10 pound is absolutely more that I want. I don't wanna pay 10 pound, obviously, if, you, if you're reselling this, but you know, if you're doing 10 into 30, 35 pound and you have a, a good degree of confidence that's going to work, then I'll give that a go. Now, saving the best to absolute last. And I could not believe my luck when I saw this. I could not believe it. And this is a Canon Pixar TS. All right, just the, just the lid cover. TS705. Um, and you can see, hopefully you can see in the camera there, it owes me £6.50 for a Canon Pixar. Um, 
TS series, which is a really, really good model of series. Um, the reason I know it's a good model of series, and this is so strange, is because I was looking for this exact printer the day before to buy it off Amazon. To buy this brand new off Amazon is 150 pounds. 150 pounds. And it was sitting in the charity shop the next day for six pound 50. And it was tested. Six pound 50. Uh, it does also come with a, a brand new uh, ink cartridge. Um, you know, obviously the visual checks pass. I've already linked this up to my laptop and tested it. Works perfectly fine. It's got about half the ink left. It's got official Canon ink um, in the actual printer itself. Um, and yeah, I know these hold. Well, if I was going to resell this as it is, um, I've sold, I've seen a used one sell on eBay for £80. So £6.50 into £80 is an amazing resale value. However, I've got an idea with this. I've got an idea to potentially open an Etsy shop and sell some stickers. So this is is the reason I was looking at this printer beforehand. Um, and again, I want to branch out different avenues, try different things, maybe not just yet, because the timing isn't quite right, but later in this year, that was something I was considering starting. So I might keep this. Um, and I, I, of course I can always sell it in the future if I need to as well. So uh, yeah, really, really nice. That was definitely the pickup of the week. Obviously some other nice bits and pieces in here as well. Um, and it's always nice to get stock that I like, stock that should sell quite easily should sell for a comfortable markup. I've been a bit more fussy this week in the last couple of weeks about what I pick up. I've had some fails um, of, of some orders where the markup just wasn't as, as good as, as I was expecting. So I've been, I've been a bit more fussy about what I'm picking up. But hopefully there are some good items in here. Obviously there's some risky items as well, which I know about, but overall I'm, I'm happy with this week's pickups. Now I need to get photographing and listing and, and get them up because if they're not photographed and listed, I'm not gonna sell it. So let's, uh, let's do that now. I appreciate your time. Hopefully you found that, you know, informative, some useful or entertaining or whatever. As always, please hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, what was your favorite item or what, what was it, something that I showed which you wouldn't normally pick up? It'd just be kind of um, good to engage with you guys. I will, I will reply to every comment down below. So yeah, please leave a comment. It'd be great to kind of hear from you guys. And obviously give me some feedback on, on, on the channel so far. I'm always looking to improve where I can. And yeah, um, you know, as I mentioned before, we are selling on eBay, Depop, think of opening a vintage store, thinking of opening an Etsy shop. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, sometimes eBay could be so slow and um, sometimes it picks up randomly. You know, you have weeks where it's like, or days where like you get tons of orders out of nowhere um, and then days where absolutely nothing. So I don't want to be kind of at the mercy to eBay, even though I'm only part time and, um, you know, I'm not doing this really for, for commercial reasons or um, yeah, but it's, I think it's going to be good to, to spread my eggs a bit more in different kind of baskets and Depop, um, always, you know, I'm selling more on Depop now. I think Vinted is, is a good platform and, and potentially Etsy as well look into that. So yeah, uh, again, be interested to kind of know your ideas on, on different platforms and, and what you guys use. So as always, thanks for watching and yeah, there'll be more content coming up. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon.